Hello, Steam It's Crypto G here, coming at you with another Pixlr video tutorial. Um, this time I want to give you uh, a way of creating stencils from your image, that kind of stencil effect where we have just kind of black and white and, you know, the mind is kind of left to fill in the detail and the cleverness is, is essentially in, the, in, you know, how we shade the image. So, first of all, I've got an image here. Uh, I'm just going to give it an auto levels fix because uh, that's better. It's a bit more contrasty. Then I'm going to desaturate it um, and go down to black and white. Okay, so now we are ready to start. We're going to go to our curves. Going to go to our curves, adjustment curves. Going to create a curve point around the top here and I'm going to just go down like that. Let's create one around the bottom. There we go. Going around that. Okay. Uh, the grey points we're going to drag a bit more. That's already a really lovely effect but that's not what we're going for. Actually we're going to bring the greys up a bit here, yeah, quite close to the original, okay, no, actually, sorry, we're going the wrong way with the greys, that's why it wasn't getting what I wasn't wanting, there we go, there we go, so you see we're getting rid of the greys, the mid-tones, okay, and to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to go to okay, and we're going to choose the levels again because it'll save those level. Uh, sorry, those curves, that curved line, and it'll give us a whole new lot to work with, as you can see. So now we sort of bring down. Let's bring down those blacks even more. Oops. Let's bring down those blacks even more. To about that. Uh, Squash that up even more. There we go. Oops. Okay, that's almost, almost there. Almost there. Let's just see if I can. Yeah, we, we got it very close the first time, to be honest. So I'm going to just push. I'm just trying to get rid of not too much detail. But anything that's kind of in the kind of grey tone. Okay, I've done as much as I can do with that with the curves. I'm now going to go adjustment levels. And we're going to play around with these levels. And again, what we're trying to do is get rid of the mid-tones. And we just want to play in the kind of black and white area without, of course, losing too much detail. Okay, that's roughly it. I'll probably play around with this after the tutorial and get it a little bit better. But just for the purposes of this tutorial, I want to show you kind of how easy it is to really get into this effect. Okay, right. And then there you go. And so then basically what we would do is uh, perhaps clean up some of these um, images, you know, we'd make this all white, for instance, that's not quite white. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, FFF. Um, and we might sort of clean up some of these spots here and, you know, take out certain bits of detail, join the white together, leave the black kind of floating in that um, classical... etching style kind of thing so yeah then i might go to black here uh, zoom in oops zoom in choose a smaller brush Doo -doo -doo. choose a smaller brush and make her eyebrow all black so i won't do that now i'll just kind of finish off here and and go off and 
get this better myself so that I've got a nice thumbnail for the video. But um, yeah, hopefully that gives you enough to be going off and getting on with. And as ever, let me know below if you found this useful and what else you'd like to see. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.